Hello, and welcome to the December 1st Berg broadcast. We're reporting live from our studio. I'm Libby, and this is Remy. The word of the day is malfeasance, which is the performance by a public official of an act that is legally unjustified, harmful, or contrary to law. Used in a sentence, he was removed from any position of authority for malfeasance a decade ago. Langsburg's Winterfest celebration is this Saturday. The parade will begin at 5 p.m. and other activities will follow. Now here's Josie with the weather. Thanks, Remy. Today's weather forecast is a high of 44 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 33 degrees Fahrenheit and is partly cloudy. This weekend, you can expect it to be mostly cloudy on Saturday with a high of 46 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And on Sunday, it should be mostly sunny with a high of 46 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 36 degrees Fahrenheit. For the beginning of next week, both Monday and Tuesday will be cloudy, with Monday having a high of 49 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Tuesday will have a high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Back to you, Remy. The countdown to winter break has begun. We have 12 more school days before winter break, winter break begins. Let's go to Noah for a look at sports. Thanks, Libby. Hi, everyone. It's Noah, and now it's time for your weekly middle school sports update. Our 7th grade boys basketball team played on Monday against Saranac, and they won. Our 6th grade Red Cedar team had a doubleheader on Saturday, and they played against Perry and Fowlerville. And they won their first game, but lost their second game. Our 8th grade boys basketball team also played Saranac this past week, and they also won. Well, that's all for me. Now back to you, Remy. Thanks, Noah. Don't forget, if you want your information from your game featured on one of our broadcasts, you can contact us with your game's info. Your book cover art entries are all due today. If you have cover art you want to submit, please give it to Mrs. Clark Pollard or the middle school office before the end of the day today. This week's birthday wishes go out to Ashley Sanderland, Sophie Freeman, Ethan Moni, and Dana Winans. Happy birthday to you all. Hey Remy, do you know what an idiom is? Idioms are word combinations that people use that have a different meaning than the literal meanings of each word. We have a special feature video to share today that gives some examples of some common idioms. Let's check it Hello out. Hello and welcome to Guess That Idiom, where we find random students and ask them what a certain idiom means. And now, to our first contestant. What do you think the phrase, don't cry over spilled milk, means? It means that don't cry over something that means that it's not worth crying over for. And now, on to our next contestant. What do you think the phrase raining cats and dogs means? I think that means that there's a lot of rain coming down. And now, on to our last contestant. What do you think the phrase eye candy means? Mm, probably that it's really amazing that you've never seen it before. And that was Guess That Idiom with your host, Sydney Morrow. Now it's time for our weekly prize drawing. Each week, the broadcast will be picking names. And if you get picked, you will head to the office to get a prize of candy. So tune into the broadcast each week and watch your name to appear on the screen.
Don't forget to pick up your prize in the office if your name was called. Have a great day and don't forget to watch next Friday. Friday.